Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through a very short JavaScript routine that's really good when you're just starting out with JavaScript and um, you want to have success at it, obviously. And it's good for also introducing kids to coding with a little JavaScript routine like this. So what you see on the screen right now is just is what we're going to do, actually. I just wanted to show you the end product here. So that's the script we're going to type, not that much, obviously. And then when we go to launch it, it looks something like this. So when we launch it in the browser view, it'll ask us to enter a first number you know so we'll enter a number and then we'll enter another number and then we'll it'll prompt us for a third number and um, so we'll put in three different numbers and it should add those um, numbers up for us in this case it equals 25 I think that's correct so I just want to run through this with you and show you how to type this code so you will have success with one of your early JavaScript routines so just follow me on this one and we'll go. Let me exit out of all this and just start fresh. Um, actually, let me start with a fresh notepad. And notepads on every PC. And uh, very easy to code if you want to just code and not depend on anything else to help you build code. But anyway, with a fresh job, uh, fresh notepad page, we start off with just script. So we'll open angle bracket script. And that just lets the browser know it's going to be JavaScript. And then I do tend to go down to the next line and tab over. And I want to put my variables here. So variable and I'll just say VAR space NUM. I'll have three numbers. So I'll have num1 for number one uh, space, um, sorry, num1 comma space NUM2 comma space NUM3 in this case. Let's make it interesting. And then we want to be able to sum it or have it JavaScript do the sum for us. So we'll put sum as a variable. Now, We'll go in and we'll say num1 space equals space, and then I'll put in a prompt. You know, that's when the little box comes up and asks you for something. So in the parentheses, you put in there, and within the quotation marks, what it is you want it to say. So I want it to say, enter first number. End of quotes, end of uh, parentheses. And then I'm going to do that, you know, two more times with those other variables. So N num, excuse me, num2 space equals space, and then prompt, uh, quotation marks, enter second number. And in the quotations, in the parentheses, uh, enter down, tap over again, and you M3, because we're going to have three numbers, we're going to put in space equals space, uh, prompt, uh, enter third number. And um, we want to go into sum, space equals space, parse, P-A-R-S-E-I-N-T, um, and you M1, in the parentheses, okay. Now, this is where you tell it what numbers you want it to add. And we want to add all of them, so we have to put include them all in here. So parse, integer, which is INT, um, open parenthesis, NUM1, end of parenthesis, space plus space, parse, INT, parenthesis, NUM2. And then we'll add, put the last one in um, for space plus space parse int and um3 and we could also and then that slash slash is just like a little notation area and we just say in quotes uh, quotations plus means add and then we'll go down and do um, the alert now that we've got all three variables in there on the alert, I'll push that over alert, and this kind of just tells it what to do with everything. Um, parentheses, quotations, sum, and that's a capital S U M space equals space. Quotations uh, space plus sum. So you're telling it to keep adding to what's there, and uh, enter over or just uh, spacebar over a little bit and we'll just put another little note to ourselves there that means that um, where the quotation um, plus means uh, to combine or just com combine uh, into a string. Now 
and we want to end with our to let the browser know that we're done with our JavaScript and that's just going to be open angle bracket slash forward slash like you do with your HTML code and script and then uh, ending closing the angle bracket there okay and so that pretty much should be the code that we need because we've defined our three variables we've told it to sum up those three variables and uh, saving it is the next step saving it's very important on how you save it so we're going to say file save and then when it comes up, I'm going to save it in my JavaScript folder, but the file name, what should it be? I'm just going to call it adding um, three numbers. Um, again, dot, uh, since I already did it once, but the main thing is the file extension at the end should be dot HTML. It should not be dot TXT. It should not be dot JS. It should just be dot HTML with whatever name you give it, the file. And I'm going to save that. And as you can see up here now, it says adding three numbers again, .html. So I will go down to my Windows Explorer file because now I want to see it, you know, in browser view. And, you know, if I right click, I don't have that choice there really. So, um, and I think up here in view, no, it's not going to give me a browser view there either. So I tend to just go back to Windows Explorer and um, I, I'll navigate back to that particular file, adding three numbers again, .html. That I just saved and it's in browser there's a browser button there so it's just going to tell you when it opens up it's going to be in browser view so here it's coming up and it prompts me right now enter first number so whatever number I enter 15 okay and then enter second number um, I'll do um, 13 so up, we're up to 28 so far and say OK, and then it's going to prompt me for the third number. So the third number, um, let's do a 2. So we're up to 28. We're going to add two more. That should put us at 30. So I say OK, sum equals 30. Great, it works. OK, so that's just a great little bit of JavaScript to try out, be successful at, and uh, a good place to start as any. Thank you for your time.